just go straight to the point. Um, you know, we've had some of the uh, challenges that um, you spoke about, Africa's, the, the high affordability costs uh, in Africa. Uh, some of the um, other challenges that we discussed earlier when we were in the briefing room, um, regulation, uh, taxation, uh, the cost of devices. Uh, we also talked about adoption, uh, some of the adoption challenges. So we'll delve straight into the policy aspect of, of this discussion. And I'd like to ask you, what policy, what one policy is working well um, in your area of um, business? Uh, GVG, uh, Claude, tell us a bit more about, and I would replicate the question across. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, before uh, answering, I would like to go back to the uh, title of this, um, of the panel about uh, policy harmonization to bridge the digital divide. I think we need to uh, look at the definition of what is digital divide, because the typical definition is uh, who does versus who does not have access to ICT. So now let's make sure that we create environment so everyone can have access to ICT. I think um, this definition should be putting into a broader context because ICT is not an end but means to achieve goals, to achieve uh, socioeconomic uh, empowerment and also to achieve uh, social inclusion because uh, what's the point of uh, giving the most sophisticated phone or iPad to someone in a village and with internet access if he doesn't know how to read it? So how we can put the fastest internet access in a remote village where the young entrepreneurs, they don't know how to create digital businesses. So I think um, while we are looking at making sure that everyone can have access to ICT, so we need also to look at it in a broader context where we make sure they have the right skills to use them. We invest in literacy. We invest in education. So we create skill, the necessary skills so those tools can really change the communities and make a real difference. Because if we don't do it that way, all we just do is extend the reach of big inter internet companies so they can reach our population, which will not be an active participant in the digital economy because they will be just on the receiving end. So if I go back now to your question in terms of uh, policy, what policy that are seeing uh, working elsewhere, I think the policies that uh, integrate together regions uh, that, are being looking, that are being looked at regional level um, really can make a difference. Uh, Europe, if one single country decided uh, we need to make a change and uh, update our uh, data protection with GDPR, it will have been more difficult, but 80, 28 countries decided, now let's come together and then we make sure that uh, the data in Europe uh, of, the, of the citizens in Europe are protected. So this is a more, an example that Africa can follow, and I believe Smart Africa Alliance um, is on the right track to bring together different regulators so they can solve problem at the regional level. So GVG, our company, we are a pioneer in um, regulatory technologies. We've been working with many regulators across the continent just to make sure that uh, they can keep up with the digitalization of the economy because as a regulator, you cannot be using uh, paper-based <laughs> regulation uh, have to, to monitor the compliance to your rules while the whole economy is completely digital. So we've been specialized in providing them the right tools so they can really monitor compliance to different regulations. Now we need to take it at the regional level so we can really make a difference.